I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today I'm out in the factory. <laughs> uh, now this morning, I had six orders to get out, fairly big orders. Got those out, and then I set to building uh, ten uh, maybe stoves. So let's take a quick look at those. I'm not done with them by a long shot, but I got a real good start on them. I got four bodies all done, and I've got ten tops all done. So tomorrow I'll resume uh, on that project. Okay, now, uh, a gentleman uh, bought a Never Never Stove from me, emailed me today. First time he started it up, he didn't really give it a chance. He didn't get enough fuel in it. And the reason he didn't get enough fuel in it is he didn't hold the, the remote up high enough to let it completely wet out the wick before he put it down. And I think he was running his remote too low. So uh, he did it again. I gave him some some information, went back, did it again, wrote me a day and said that it was working great. I wanted to know what the optimal height was for the remote uh, with the Never Never Stove. So let me move the camera in here close and we'll look at uh, height of the remote for different stoves uh, and give you kind of an idea of, of where you should be running and why. Okay. Okay, this is the Never Never Stove. Now I'm going to take the top off. And now here's the wick. Now this wick goes from the top down to that line right there, half an inch down. So, uh, if you're going to have alcohol, looking for something to point with here. If you're going to have alcohol in this stove and, and use it, it's got to get to this wick and wet the wick out. So it's got to be at least to that, it's got to be a little higher than that line so that the wick will get wet and then the capillary action will pull it up the rest of the way. But actually, uh, the, it works best if you run the alcohol about halfway up on the wick. At least it has for me. So I've got a yardstick here and it's got some pretty good numbers on it as you can, you can see pretty good. And you can see that, let me move it back here like that. Yeah, that's not really, you can see that. I would say running it at about an inch and a half would put you about halfway up on the wick. Maybe maybe inch and five eighths. So uh, that's where you'd want to run your remote, about inch and a half to inch and five eighths. Okay. Here's the uh, maybe stove. I'll take the top off of that. And that halfway up would be about... One and three eighths would be almost ideal. One and three eighths. Okay, here's a uh, an original bongo, and I tell people the minimum is to run it to the top of the silicone. I personally like to run it up into the top a little bit. So that would be, oh, uh, inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths. Inch and a quarter would work. Inch and a quarter. Okay, here's a uh, ring of fire stove, and this is on a flat level surface. I think it would run at one inch. I run it at about an inch and an eighth, but I think one inch would work. Okay, so we've established that every single one of these stoves requires, three of them require over an inch. The last one will run on one inch, but I prefer to run it at an inch and an eighth. Okay, now let's look at remotes. Okay, so if all of these stoves require one inch on a flat level, uh, well, over an, over an inch, one of them will run at an inch, the other three require at least about an inch and three-eighths to an inch and a half. So if I'm on a flat level table and I have a remote that has adjustment and it only adjusts one inch, three of these stoves won't work on, and if I max it out, I can run it on the uh, fourth one. So your absolute minimum amount of distance you'd want for adjustment to run my stoves, uh, to run the Never Never Stove, you'd want an absolute minimum of an inch and a half. And another quarter of an inch would be better. So uh, any remote with just one inch of adjustment is not very handy. It's not going to work with a lot of different stoves. And if you're out somewhere where the ground is uneven, so you've got your stove on a stump and like your remote, on something a little bit lower, you're going to need a lot more elevation, maybe a couple inches. So, uh, my remote, if you max it right out, 
go crazy and put it up here so it's just sitting inside. You can get about uh, two and a half, two and three quarter. So, uh, that would work with all my stoves on level surface and on most of the stoves you could be an inch lower and it would still work. Now the reason why this is so adjustable is that this clear tube is bigger than the bottle. So the bottle can go right down inside of it. So what I'm thinking is when I get the new material, I'm thinking of going up another inch or an inch and a half and make it maybe a four inch adjustable remote. Because if you're out somewhere in the wilderness and things are uneven by a couple inches, you're going to use most of that just to, uh, just to get it to work. So that's my thought on remotes. And if you have a remote that has just one inch of adjustment, for everything I've showed you here, it's virtually useless. That's the reason why I'm going to make this one four inch when I get the new, new stuff. Uh, polycarbonate is what I'm coming in with. And it'll be a lot lighter because the polycarbonate is going to be thinner and it's just a lighter material all the way around. Just a better remote. Okay, so I think that covers everything today. I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.